Okay. I think we're back. We always have the the used to, used to have the intro music uh, to give to people something to wait for, <laughs> listen to while they wait. But now we're just going in with the. I don't know if they call it the code open or what. But yes. Back on the stream again. I'm uh, doing a little something different this time. I think the last time I, it's probably been a few weeks since I streamed last, but uh, I'll say my excuse was I was on travel. Let's go with that. Uh, we had the, uh, we were, I was doing on the con, to sort of on the conference circuit. So, hey, Anthony, what's up? How are you? Thanks for coming through. Uh, let's see if my, I think my chat here is displaying on screen. So, We'll see how that goes. And we got the restream bot. Looks like it's doing its thing. So yeah. Um, if you got if you're on Twitch, you get you you get my my best work there probably because you get the live notifications uh, where you get to put in something custom. Uh, was I at Jamstack? Con no, I was not at Jamstack. Uh, conf. I did not get a chance to make it. I had too much other stuff going on at the time to have more travel. I had already traveled like or been at three conferences in three weeks, which I think one of them was virtual, but still. Um, I went to Next.js Conf and then I went to uh, All Things Open also. Uh, both were pretty good experiences. Uh, Next.js was I think my first, um, let's say react focused conference uh, <laughs> that I went to, but I got it, definitely got a chance to sit, uh, and get the, the next third, the next JS 13 experience like firsthand, which was pretty neat. Um, and seeing the new features and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know how it goes. You, yeah, the 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 goal of the people at the conference is to make the other people that are not at the conference wish they were there, and you got to do that with pictures and tweets and things. So that's usually how that goes. Uh, but yes, busy as usual. Um, so yeah, we're trying to get back on the on the wagon here, and I thought this was a good time to. Uh, start because we at least saw that uh, Tanner Lindsley released a new router at Jamstack Conf, um, and one of their I can't remember what they called them. Um, it was called like a I don't know. Um, I can't remember what they called it, but it was like a short talk in which he released they were showing something that they released and he basically to release the beta for the new router uh, during his talk at champs at conf, which I got a chance to go back lightning talk. Yes. There you go. Lightning. I think it was a lightning release talk or something like that. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting. I hadn't seen, well, maybe I haven't seen had, people have done that before. I just hadn't noticed, but I did get a chance to go back and uh, watch the talk and uh, kind of get the the ideas or the things that he talked about, why he built this thing and what he was using it for. So I thought those would be pretty interesting. And of course, he threw the some of the nuggets out there about supporting other frameworks, which has been his kind of MO lately about uh, creating a core for each one of these projects that doesn't depend on any particular framework, but it can be adapted to work in different environments. So we'll take a look and see uh, what, at least wanted to take a look and see what it looks like in a, you know, vanilla React environment. And then we'll take a look at some framework support if we have cross framework support and see what that looks like. If it, if we can get somewhere with that. Uh, I've looked at it some, but haven't gotten anything in a, like a, a working state yet. So we'll see. that yeah if you haven't been to 
the tan stack router page tan stack routers and beta modern and scalable routing for applications um, one of the big draws that I saw was that it's a fully type safe fully type safe router of course that's one of the big features that he was uh, promoting during the during the talk there uh, so built for JSTS which you know bring your own framework I guess in that case and then he has the uh, adapters for the different things that are out there now uh, so type safe and powerful fetch responsibility built-in caching search param APIs that's something is something a little different that I, I've seen at least for uh, routers anyway as far as a big focus on uh, search params and being able to use those and validate them in that way so and then we get the, the long list of uh, all the features here uh, that it uh, have has there uh, and it touts being framework agnostic at its core so uh, that's pretty interesting that most a lot of frame like I said a lot of framework authors are kind of going that route these days of building something that other people can kind of take advantage of and of course partners in this large list of sponsors uh, which is always cool to see people support open source and you can take us for a spin down here big dashboard we're gonna start with something a little more uh, a little less developed I guess and then we'll kind of dig into the docs and see what's going on there so kind of and of course the doc is still in beta so the docs are still in progress which is understandable um, so yeah let's get into it uh, I went ahead and so I'm not didn't have to do too much uh, pre prep work here went ahead and started a new uh, Vite and react project um, and we will start that up here this is still yarn dev I don't think I have anything else running in the background here V plus react uh, pretty straightforward and we'll open our other terminal just in case So go back to all through the features, installation, can run with npm yarn, good old unpackaged script. That's pretty cool. But most of it, we're gonna mostly use uh, a build tool for this, but I guess I cannot copy this. That's fine. Add the React router. One thing I did think that was interesting is that he called it, well, I guess in the same vein that um, is, this is one is for Rec, so it's Tanstack slash React router, uh, which I think also kind of piggybacks on the, the name, of course, the React router name, which is very uh, popular. Uh, in the React ecosystem for all the stuff that they've built around that. And at least from what I could tell, the the router that Tanner has built also uses some of those uh, same libraries, I believe. Because uh, I know that React router is built on top of the history package. And I think that's maintained by the Remix team, if I'm not mistaken. Twitch, who this? Hey, JVA, what's up? I know it's been a while. It's probably been a few weeks. I was on conference travel, and now we're we're back at our normally scheduled time here. Hey, ciao, y'all. Yeah, must have got my uh, <laughs> must have got my notification there. Uh, new router, who this? <laughs> The guy I wrote to the airport, yes. Hey, I appreciate that. 
<laughs> there you go. Blasting your email? What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, if I did something there that I was unaware of, uh, you'll have to let me know. Uh, but yes. Oh, Twitch sent some. Okay, cool. Playing with Protractor. <laughs> Josh, what are we doing? Uh, are you are you maintaining Protractor now? Is that what is that what we're doing? There. The year two thousand six. Um, uh, not quite. But if you're using Protractor, you might you might feel that kind of way that you're still in two thousand six, which is fine because I think Protractor has one more year of uh life left, at least uh main official maintenance life and then we'll see what happens to it after that because i know still a lot of people still use that so but yes and okay hero devs is taking over in july 2023 and let me check make sure my uh thing here netbook there we go. Now people can see the messages that are uh, posted in the chat. So that works out. Hero Devs is taking over in July 2023, then another year. Okay, so not taking it over indefinitely. That's interesting. Just kind of maybe get people to a, a transition point. Because uh, I know that I thought you all were working on something to some kind of migration tool or something like that but we'll see how that goes <laughs> that's what the announcement said there you go he's just rolling with the uh, rolling somebody else told me this in bridge yeah that's it uh in bridge is the thing that the word I, the project i was thinking about okay so back to Tanstack router we've installed the package I'm going to go what through at least what's in the docs. Um, just went to the installation page. Feeling impatient, prefer to skip all documentation. I should probably make this a little bigger so people can see it. Looking at Playwright for giggles. There you go. It's not a bad idea. Go ahead and make this one bigger also. Bare minimum to get going with Tansec Router. Use this React for example. So create config, create children, and create route. Okay, so let's create a couple of components here. Create one for home. Now, there are many different ways you can write uh, React components. So I'm going to go with the most recent way that I've learned how to do this. So with all the fancy code generation, turn. Welcome home. Oh, so not class-based React components. Nope, no class-based React components. All uh, function components. About ten stack router. Cool. So we have a couple of routes there. I don't know where you normally. I'm just going to copy some of this stuff. React DOM client. Go in here, paste this. Change this to home. Create React, React provider. 
<laughs> Java developers are crying where they hear that. <laughs> hey, nobody's taking away your um your you know class components. Uh, let me hit the button here. Nobody's taking away your class components. And thank you for coming through, by the way. Um, just if you're moving over to the 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 front end world, you don't use those as much. So we got the router here. And router provider. Okay, they already had some of this stuff in here. So I was ahead of the game, so to speak. Router provider and outlet. Almost typed the same thing they type had in there too. Um, where do we want to stop? We got the counter. We'll go with. Plus 10 stack router. Just not just Java, but OOP devs. That is true. OOP devs love those classes. Hey, they can always use Angular, so <laughs> uh, won't be anything holding them back there because Angular is classes forever <laughs> until they say it's not. So we'll see. Got no semicolons in here, huh? That's what we're, I guess that's how we're rolling today. Besides the ones that I added. So let's go back to here. Home about and welcome home. But yeah, annotations, Java Swarm decorators are used everywhere. Oh man, I've been like, I've been using uh, Nest.js recently with uh, type ORM. And type ORM, it, well, I could imagine what. Uh, Angular will look like if they like lean into the decorators because like Nest.js plus type ORM is like decorators for everyone everywhere. I don't know how I feel about that. I have thoughts about using the the decorators everywhere with uh, with that. So because like even with properties and validation and things, you end up with like eight decorators on a single property uh, and and plus you got the class on top of that and the class has decorators on it it just kind of gets out of control so but hey some people tend to like this sort of thing some people like decorators what's good with the router um i could jump back to the kind of the feature set here uh the big thing is, is that it says it's fully type safe um 100% type safe and caching and first class support for search params uh, amongst a lot of other things. But I think the thing that stood out to me was like the first class type safety or 100% type safe. Um, and just as an aside to me, like, of course, hindsight is always 2020, but I feel like Angular could have had a lot of these features or um, could have like leaned into some of these things earlier on because we we were one of the Angular was one of the first frameworks to like embrace TypeScript really, and it, and it could have went full type safety and everything for like from the beginning and like kind of had that as a as a foundation across the framework. Um, that and of course the integration with RxJS could have been like tentpole things. Um, but, <laughs> but we kind of went with the, as Josh said, the, the any everywhere approach in the beginning and then kind of had to re move away from that and do some refactoring there. So, um, but yes, the full type safety in, at least from my, from what I've looked at the doc so far, it seems like you get that type safety by going, everything going through the router that you create uh, for the application itself. I just wanted to see type resolvers in Angular. Good luck. 
Hey, maybe it'll happen one day. They they rehashed um forms to be type safe, so why not? Uh so yeah, router provider, router true. And this is kind of getting back to the to the things you get with JSX. With how this can still fully be type safe is you can pass the router directly into the template and get these nice things here. So, uh, so we have in this, just in general, the router has a lot of extra features like nested routing and layouts and other things, which we'll get into uh, here in a second. Uh, but at least we have like the one, the the two simple pages. Just feel JSX feels messy. It can it can get messy. That for, that's for sure. Okay, let's go back to. I know we're kind of thin on the docs here, but I'll give you another shot of the docs there. We'll paste this in the chat also. I have to forgive the the restream bot there, but uh, that's what I'm using so so we can blast out to more places at once. <laughs> Wonder why my latency was horrible. Looked at terminal <laughs> yarn install was running. Hey, this is why we try to minimize the the yarn installs on the stream if we have to. But um, sometimes you have to. Child, when you get matter of fact, child, when are you getting back on stream? It's been a while. Yes, I'm gonna call you out um, for that. Okay, quick start. Also have has dev tools, which is pretty cool. Hey, Vortex, what's up? How are you? React Router Dev Tools. Hey, Anthony's back. I'm just kind of digging through the docs that are here. <laughs> Food coming around. Jet lag and they like savings time been such a hassle for a kid. Be back soon. Yeah, I know how that goes. They like savings just kind of throws your whole day off. Cause like around here at um, what is it nine? Not nine. Four four thirty. Like five o'clock. It's like getting dark outside. Um, and it feels like you should be inside getting ready for bed or <laughs> something. <laughs> Um, so that's how it goes. And we got the comparison table here, which I didn't show before, but comparison to versus react router. And when I first saw this, I thought that the first one was GitHub stars. I thought this was actual bundle size first. So I was like, how is react router 49 K? And this one's 2.9, but I was got the numbers mixed up. Went to the grocery store with sun out at four thirty. Went out at five thirty. It's pitch black. <laughs> it's depressing. Hey, I can't argue with you there. Uh, definitely feels like your day is over a lot earlier than you think it should be. But yes, lots more features: history, memory, hash routers. Does anybody use hash routers anymore? I can't recall the last time uh, someone was like, "I need to use hash routing." because I wanted to go back to 1995 type safe actions link SSR coming soon. I joke, I made a joke on Twitter that I'm going to rebrand analog to be the brand stack. Uh, so we'll have the tan stack and the brand stack. And uh, we can see how, how much traction we get there. Not the brain stack, the brand stack. Like Tanner, Tanner has a tan stack. I don't have the brand stack. <laughs> I'd yarn it. Hey, I appreciate that. Okay, so I think a lot of these, okay, route configs. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of blaze through some of these and then we'll come back. Router links 
routes route matches okay cool just kind of get a frame of reference of where we are route configs okay we did that create a root route config create auto creating auto added children routes uh, so create children auto added routes are common if you're building very simple routing configuration in a single file you may want to consider using create route route config add children okay unattached children routes route config add children index route diff unattached Where's unattached child child route? <laughs> Brangular is better. <laughs> I don't know if that one rolls off the tongue the same way as the brand stack. Um, pretty similar to React Router. I, well, not. I don't think so because, like, with React Router you still have to you define all your routes like in the component as far as i can tell and this one is more it's kind of like a high it's well i don't want to say it's closer to the angular router but you define your routes like outside of the component and then you drop in an outlet or a router outlet and it takes care of that for you so um it's a little different in that way i think Route paths are used to match the URL in the browser. Can be defined using a variety of syntaxes. All the following are valid paths slash slash about about with the trailing slash. That's interesting. About and uppercase about. I wonder why. Oh, remix router. Um, sort of. Angular, the one it, the one I have in analog is actually the angle is built on top of the Angular router, so I'm more or less using file based writing to generate a config. The one I did with Remix a while back is similar to this one, um, where you can define a config and pass it that, and then it knows everything from there but from what i understand with the remix the remix uh framework agnostic router you have to define all your routes up front and this one at least looks like it lets you define child routes like later on or attach routes later on so Layout routes are routes that do not have a path. Hey, Jason, what's up? Uh, you haven't missed much yet. I'm kind of just glancing through the docs uh, here to see. But we got a we got a pretty standard uh, React app here, and we got a couple of routes home and about. Um, and then I was looking through kind of some of the features that are documented today. But the goal is to kind of get <laughs> nice. I've already spent 100K and I still don't have Angular integration yet. I have to get my money back uh, somehow. But yes, I don't know if, if you all saw that, but uh, let's see. If we go to Jamstack. I don't know if they have the videos up yet. Uh, let's see. Jammies. Jamstack 2022. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Okay, that's just a trailer. But yes, the uh, the 100K in the tweet was... <laughs> was um, Tanner, as Tanner's known to do uh take shots at angular and he mentioned that i don't know if it's just part of his thing or whatever but uh he mentioned that you know it's framework agnostic it'll have other versions coming soon but it'll cost you 100k 
to get an, uh, an adapter for the Angular router. So uh, I kind of took that and ran with it in the, in the video. So we'll see how far we can get with that. <laughs> That's pretty cheap, yes, I must say. Um, shout out to the one of the original authors of the Angular Router, uh, Victor Savkin. Um, I wonder how much that actually cost. Uh, first time I heard, I was like, <laughs> "Rand needs more." Yes, um, you saw me, you know, posting the picture of the guy laying on a, a pile of money uh, to do it. So. You know, if anybody's up for throwing some money at uh, Tanstack Angular Router integration, hey, I'm listening. Okay, where were we? Let's see if we can create some child, some like nested routes here. And I guess nested routes in Tanstack Router are layout routes. So, but I wonder... I guess I can just create a parent route and uh, use a layout for that. So let's try that next. Create route path parent. And I haven't gotten into how we do params yet either. Be right back. Need to run your arm for a while. <laughs> Yes, you have to, uh, we'll name this one products. That's usually my go-to. And we'll copy this one. And we'll now products here. And we'll use this as our layout. Is Tanstack really framework agnostic? Uh, it says it is. And it says other things are coming soon, but we'll have to see if that is how true that is. And part of that is what I was uh, going to do today. Or we have to use have React hooks. Now it's the core. I've looked at some of the the source for it. The core of it is independent of anything, any framework. So uh, I have looked at that some. So I can't at least say that much about it. Is that the core of it is uh not tied to react or anything else wrap in JSS fragment oh always forget to do this part there we go format hence the rebrand yeah he like took everything that was uh, react specific and um, made it tan stack instead of react because they like React query, so it's now it's tan stack query and uh, more of the same with that. Default products. Oh, I'm stuck in uh, Angular land. You can just pass the components directly. <laughs> now you get the brand stack. See? Add children. Um. Invalid route detected. Okay. Great route. Great children. Yeah, this is a callback. This is an array. Great route. Was this add children or create children? Okay. Create children. Hey, the type safety is working out so far. Uh, so it is telling me when I went, did something wrong, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see, path. I'm guessing I can just do ID. And we'll create another component here. Excited to see what the types experience is like. I am as well. So and it was product details. So I didn't do like a ton of prep before this because I'm, I'm coming at this like a new user just like other people would uh, with tan stack router uh, so we don't need a product details there and I'll 
look at the docs again to see how we get params in. But if I had to guess, I say we probably have to go through the router to get to the params. So uh, let's see, element, this will be product, ah, product details. Okay, let's throw some links in here. Let's try this out because I added those links uh, to. Okay, cool. So, um, one thing to note that it gave me a relative path, even though I'm at the root of the project. Um, learning in front of others helps me know what to look for myself. Yeah, I I like it's a a fresh approach because that's how you see how other people are going to get started with it and maybe iron out some of that stuff. So I definitely like that. But, but yeah, so that's one thing I'm at the root, like the app, maybe the uppermost part of the project. And it gives me the two back ticks when I can't go back any further. So that would be good if I was down further in the tree. But uh, if I go to products slash ID, uh, this should be, just call this one, product one. And it's telling me I've done something wrong. Uh, products one is missing. It's not the valid route path. Okay. So let's go back to here. Okay, no links, no help there. Basic. 99.99% type safe. What is the 0.1%? Um, installation is not type safe. <laughs> there you go. Uh, main oh, okay expensive dashboard kitchen sink where's the rest of the why is it showing me the okay showing me the kitchen sink but where's the rest of the what I'm looking for is a, a link I can use main oh, okay everything is like stuffed in here cool router dot link to active options okay so home dashboard as I understand it shouldn't be allowed oh you mean the the two back uh the track back from the root Use match invoices dash use match dashboard. Interesting. Use route. You know, okay, I'll I'm gonna say this. Okay, cool. So that helped me find another thing. Uh, to so that is a little different instead of passing the and I guess I can't this is kind of helps me understand where I'm going now it tells me that this is not valid children to required in type params ID string This is the, the like the gift and the curse of TypeScript is that when something, when your types are wrong um, and you have to do a lot of extra stuff to get the types working, um, I'm not sure how to ID one. I could probably just do this as an object when you when you lean into TypeScript and it gives you an error, then you're kind of left to 
the Rams. Okay, so I need double brackets here. ID is one. Type one, type number is not assignable to string. Interesting. But the, I guess what where I was going with that was, okay, let me take this back out for a second, is like this part doesn't help me. And this is the first thing I see. And I know you have to do that for the full type safety, but then you scroll down and this is the part you, that like actually makes sense about something you can, something you can do something about. It actually tells me I'm, ID should be a string here. So having the type safety is great. Um, but when it leads to like a blob of TypeScript, not so much. Okay. So path ID is a string by default. I'm sure there is a way to make that a number and maybe we'll get right. 95% of the time I want the message. Yes. And not the, the, the type stuff maybe. And I think that, um, Matt, uh, from the Vercel team who wrote like a, he wrote a TypeScript error translator. Uh, do you think the TypeScript types is more complicated because this library is not using file system routing? Uh, I'll get to, in, I'll get to that in a second. The one thing that, um, and maybe that's why he wrote the translator is that so that you would get the error message first. Um, maybe they could, maybe they could flip this to where the message is first. Yeah. The error message is partially truncated. You got eight more signatures. Um, yeah. And it, yeah, I'm, th I'm coming at it from like a new person. I mean, I am a new person using this library. So, um, TypeScript types, it's not using file system routing. Um, now I don't know that it's because it's not using file system routing. Um, but I do think there could probably be a middle ground between like full type safety and file system routing where everything is generated for you based on the files and folders. So maybe you could have file system routing and then it like generates the types for you based on that. Um, and it's more specific because you've already told it what your structure looks like, but that's just me thinking out loud. I don't know how feasible that actually is. But hey, if you can make a fully type safe router, you it probably can be done. So um, let's go back to here. We got home about product and product details. Sometimes define problem defining a type. Sometimes errors are concise, but sometimes they look like that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree that that uh, is could be the case. Look at here. Sorry, I had to check a message really quick. Um, okay, cool. So we've like blazed through some of the time that we, time that I have here, um, and we've gotten an a route there with a param. Let's see how we can get the param out of the route. And I'll go back to the kitchen sink example if I have to. But so we got product details. And let's see, is there some router? Well, there's already a router I can use. So let's see if router dot. Oh, maybe I should have put this somewhere else instead of in here. 
Rock of the Egg. Okay, let's backtrack a little. Route config dot t s x maybe. And we're gonna take some of this. Put this in here. Along with this. So you have to forgive some of my lack of um React knowledge here, but we're working through it. So route config, product details. And then we can export this thing. I think you're right, file system routing. There's more static data up front because of the convention. Someone used the Remix CLI to create this type safe route experience recently. Okay, cool. That's pretty interesting. Um, Oh, great. Now we got the spammers. Uh, one second. This is the good part about. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Y'all are, are doing me a solid um, entertaining the bots. The good thing about it is I don't have any music going on here, so I can open a new tab and remove I guess I must be doing something <laughs> must be doing something right if the bots are coming through trying to trash my stream so they must have heard me talking about routers and they wanted to come through so there we go I think we got those taken care of for now I'm going to need some mods here after pretty soon. Okay, where was I? Back to here. Okay, so router provider. Let's copy some of that. Okay, and router. Okay, are we back to working? Cool. Good problem to have. Yes, I agree. Um, okay, so we have our router here. So how do we get some params out of, let's go back to here, router, use match. Products, okay, products ID, that's cool. Um, it's it definitely is cool that it tells me like where, uh, or gives me the options of what I'm supposed to use. So, man. Hovering over this stuff is not great, sort of. Um, params. Oh, I guess this is not the route. This is this is not the params. This is the route. Route params ID. That's cool. Product one. Product details. I must have missed something because I'm not seeing the ID. What did I miss here, chat? This looks like valid React. ID equals one. Product one, product details. Throw something in front of it. Okay, I've blown something up because it's not showing me uh, anything now. And it 
looks like I am frozen. Runtime errors is looks like Chrome doesn't like what I'm doing. Uh, quit Google Chrome. Okay, trying to see if it's, okay, I still see my screen here, but I believe my browser has decided it does not want to do any work. Okay, so let's see. Chrome is like, no, you will have no routing today. Uh, let's see, activity monitor. <laughs> I hopefully, uh, I don't think it's the, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's not the router that's doing it, even though Chrome has 154% of my CPU at the moment, which is nice. Okay, so let's force quit that and see if things tend to calm down. Okay, now we're back with uh, we killed Chrome. We are back on restore. No, let's not do that. Okay, one, two, seven. Okay, and we're back here. That was fun. Um, okay, let's open up some more tabs here so I can get back on track. Chrome was like, hey, it looks like you're, <laughs> it looks like you're streaming. How about we just lock up? We heard you like routers. So we're just gonna freeze up on you. Okay, let's go back to home, about, and product one, which is what we were trying to get to before. So product details has our ID there. So that's cool. Uh, so let's go back to app here. And we'll see if we can, can, can connect this to an API here in a second. Products two should be able to reuse this thing with the whole nested layout. So that works as intended. Okay, so okay, so cool. Nested routing works as we expected it to, minus the minor uh, hiccup there. And we've got the route config set up. And as I mentioned before, it seems like everything goes through. You get the type safety through everything going through the the router itself, as opposed to using a hook, um, which is a little more indirect, I would say. And 
Chrome is doing something again. Hmm. Okay. Chrome just doesn't like me today. Now I know it's, I mean, I'm browsing other things. Twitter. Don't want to dox myself with DMs and stuff going through TweetDeck. Uh, let's see. We got some notifications. Let's look at those. Okay, so these are from earlier. Okay, I'm going to try this again just to be sure. 5173 test. Welcome home. Stack router docs. Okay, so we're good there. Details. It's an infinite loop. I hope I did not do that. What did I do? Am I? Oh, uh, yes. I think I did do that. <laughs> um, that's fun. Is this because of the, uh, is this because of the circular dependency I have here between rock config and product details? Probably so. <laughs> oh, you're joking. Hey, I thought you were serious. I thought I like actually broke something. I'm going to try it anyway just to break the, the dependency. And then we will see about, we tested out the, the, uh, the React side of things, and then we'll jump into just the, the framework, framework agnostic part and see if that works. Route config. Export that. Router from router. From router. Okay. I think that's better. I'm not sure. We'll see. I haven't <clears throat> locked up anything yet, so we're still able to navigate around. So it looks like we're at least doing good there. Okay. So that is at least an introduction to um, TanStack Router. And I, I'm, I haven't covered a whole lot here, and that's an intentional because I just wanted to get kind of like a first look first pass to see how everything works and if i did something wrong you know somebody can feel free to correct me on twitter or wherever you can find me at these days but it is fully type safe um and it does give you a lot of hints and things which is nice so that part of it i like having to configure everything like i said is uh, Tanner is probably going to, um, uh, he's probably going to shudder or whatever. When I say it, it kind of feels like the angular router where you have to configure a lot of the things, uh, and then use the routing that way. But it's sort of like that. It's like a centralized router, uh, without hooks and things. So I'll create this repo and push it up either way. And then we can get into like the other half of this. I already react recommended it to it to my react folks. Okay, cool. I'm interested to see what other people uh, have to say about it. Um, because it's definitely gotten a lot of buzz here recently. 
and um, and you know me, I'm all about the router, so we'll see what how it, how it continues to evolve. So on that, let's switch over to the the fun. Uh, uh, a fun part of this and if I can get this together here uh, let's see clear now I mentioned before that I had done some work on if you saw my uh, my previous blog post I did some work on getting are looking at the framework agnostic core of the remix router and adapting that to angular. So Tanstack says it's core is framework agnostic. So what if we can do the same thing uh, with Tanstack router? So what I did, of course, in similar fashion was I took my remix router example and I've hacked on this, um, already uh, let's see yeah something is something's happening here because my browser's coming to a crawl but I did write a blog post on remixing routing in angular can't tell if this is my machine or yes remix routing in angular I wrote this blog post back in June when they said they were going to have a framework agnostic core. So what I ended up doing was uh, going into this repo that I had for this, that blog post. And I'll put a link to that, of course, in the video. But uh, what I ended up doing was seeing how much of this I could adapt to the Tanstack router. Uh, so I brought in the Tanstack router core, which like I said, doesn't depend on react or anything else. It does depend on some of the same APIs that remix run router does as far as like the history API, but I think that's about it. So I created the, I did some of the things, same things. I created a route config, uh, here. And threw some routes in here from Angular as ang from Angular components. Uh, so we had create route config. We have some child routes, parent, child, and an about page. Uh, and I didn't try anything with actions and loaders yet. I did have a loader here, but I'm not sure if it works or not. So I just kind of walked through some of the stuff that I've done already because I tweaked some of these things. This is a remix router. We can be, you know, clever and go in here and say 10 stack uh, Angular router. <laughs> I should put 10 stack Angular router 100K. Uh, <laughs> show me the money meme. So I'll name this 10 stack router. Angular router. Yes, feisty. Uh, and we'll copy some of this. Hey, Danny, what's up? How are you? Thanks for coming through. Um, Tanstack router core. We got our index here. Export these things from we don't need to do anything with that now, but we'll go ahead and delete that anyway. So router service. So I have my route config that you provide through here, provide routes, uh, route config, which is coming from Tansec router. We have our routes here and a router service. So this is about as far as I've gotten. Um, yeah, it did have pretty fast. Um, and mainly because they have similar, like I said, similar packages underneath, of course, like the type safe routing and everything is different, which 
also kind of causes me to question whether this should just be like a standalone. I should like not put this in a uh, inside of an injection token because I think I'm gonna lose some of the type safety there. But I'm gonna try something anyway. We'll see if we can get it working and then we can see if make it type safe. So, um, so we have that part there. Let me go to my other one here. We're gonna shut this one down and come back to here. I was going to do this all into <laughs> injecting it would be a pain. Maybe uh, I was going to, of course, do this all as an analog project to get a plug in there, but we didn't have time for that. So we're just using the regular ng serve. And OK, so it's telling me about things that I have not done correctly. Save. Replace. OK, so now we're all all good, I guess. Local host. OK, and we have our nice blank white page. Um, the thing that I don't know how to do is like kick off the first navigation. Uh, and I think this may do it. I'm not sure. But we'll see if it gives me an error. Okay. Options create element is not a function. So router dot create create router. Okay, I think this uh, gives me. A way to create element any returns a promise of any. Create element. I tried quick. I have not tried quick recently. Uh, I tried it early on, but that was about it. All element. I know if create element is part of this thing. Okay, create element. element okay I think I see what's happening here element any return promise of any It's not returning a promise. Return promise uh, is all element. This was the part that I haven't figured out yet, probably. Ending matches. Just a render. Oops. Uh, 
I think it's Quick City is out now. Okay, cool. Is it out of beta? Or it's out or just more than that? Really interested in Quick. Don't know if it will catch on because of technical differences. And it's hard to explain. First, generally new thing to come out since the invention of SPAs. It's not out in beta. Okay, cool. Yeah, when I saw Quick early on, it was rough to say the least. But um, I do think that it has it has definitely come a long way uh, since the beginning. Uh, since it was, you know, even in the past year, they like ironed out a lot of the developer experience and the pieces that you need to like put a quick app together fully supports react now okay how does it well i guess since it's using like jsx or something um i guess they figured out how to do that i cannot read properties of undefined matches to render <laughs> yes gotta ask mishko that's true Uh, route okay so rs dot matches Let's see if it'll give me like I said I'm doing kind of doing some of this on the fly here so and we may see how far we can get and we may end up with nothing for today we'll see I just needed to give me some matches first to see what the router state looks like Okay, we got pending matches. Location. Sorry to join later. Watch from the beginning. Tell me what step are you now? The quick engineers are very talented and great. That is true. Okay, so we got some matches now. Okay, cool. So uh, if I go back to here, rs.matches. Get match. Out match. Matches. Okay, so we're back here now. Oof. <laughs> oh man, I like TypeScript, but types are not fun to look at, I must say. Matches to render. Okay, still no matches to render. I had some matches here at one point. There we go. Okay, so matches. Builder IO in general is great. Black magic, yes, that's one way to put it. What is the best way to avoid optional field in the interfaces in TypeScript? Uh, probably one way is to uh, give them like a, a default, like basically you, you say it has to be something. So I wonder why I had to create element here. Okay. So I'm just trying to follow the path of would I get matches to render? What should I get out of here? Matches. Okay, lots of things. Context, match ID, matches to render. Okay, let's try this again.
Oops. Curious, sorry, being lazy here. What are the types of features that 10 Stack Router provides? Um, while you were off NPM installing or Yarn installing, <laughs> uh, one thing, a couple of things that at least stuck out to me um, was that it told me when I was doing something wrong with my routing, like here. Uh, the first thing is like, instead of doing like the ID, this is something like common in Angular where you provide the ID um, inside of quotes like that. Of course, this may be just not a React thing in general, but also the uh, it gave me an error here. And it told me that uh, that the basically the link that I was creating was invalid uh, because I didn't have the params in there. So that was one thing. Another thing is that I can, it gave me autocomplete uh, for my router links here. So it knows the routes that I've registered and what options are available here, which is pretty nice. And we kind of went into how the blob of TypeScript errors can be a little intimidating, but uh, there was that part, and then in the component itself, instead of using like a hook, just say like const route, usually what you do is like const route use route, and it kind of magically knows what to do with what this, where to get this from, but you actually have to use the router itself to use the match uh, for that particular route to get the information that gives you the route and gives you the params and the type safe parameters. Yeah, probably something that's not possible with Angular templating, right? Cause we can't pass the, well, we can't pass the router around like that. Yeah, component TypeScript is fine, yeah. Uh, the streaming most somehow motivate you to try new stuff. Uh, yes, <laughs> it does. Plus, I like to stream and like learn stuff on you know on stream. So, um, people seem to get a since you can provide a utility type way to consume their inject router function. Yes, but how would in this part of like how do we get um how do how would we get the router to know all the routes and things because it seems like this way you have to configure everything through you have to configure it and then you create your configuration and then it knows about all the routes so how would we get that same level of granularity with the angular router which is like fully distributed by design and stuff or even lazy loading. I don't even know how that works. Yeah, I'm sure it supports it, but that's kind of where we were at. Okay, so I think I'm at least somewhat close to getting to uh, yeah, it is a little hairy, but hey, we got time to, <laughs> we have more than enough time to dig through this stuff. Um, data route match. Where do I have that? Type equals any. Okay. Um, okay, so this should matches to render as route match. I'm trying to get it to tell me what I'm missing. Get match. Any. Let's take that off. There we go. Okay, so now it tells me that that doesn't exist there. Did you mean router? Uh, maybe?
action. Router loader data. Child routes. Basically what I want is the uh, parent match match route. Okay, I don't know what that's going to give me. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh man. Um, okay. I'll preface this up front and saying this is this is not the fault of Tanstack router. This is like all me. So let's get that out of the way. Because I don't want it to make it seem like I'm charting it to uncharted territory. <laughs> uh <laughs> yes, it is too safe. Uh I feel unsafe at the same time. <laughs> okay, so that's going to give me the router back. Okay, so matches. Okay, so let's let's just set that to undefined for now. Oh. as any we're completely unsafe now but that's okay because i just want to inspect what it's going to give me because if we can render one route then we can render them all so um do i have matches yet nope okay two matches we got root and match route i wonder if that's going to give me yeah it's give me a lot of things that i'm not sure if one what one of the the thing that i need is child routes Loader, match route, more child routes. Okay, parent and about. The about has, okay, so options. I saw something in there. Options path root. So let's go into child routes, options. Okay, so that will give me my component that I'm looking for. So let's go back here. Say matches to render, options, element, oops. And I can't recall if it gave me more than one component. Cannot read properties of undefined. Yes, thank you. Let's put that back. Okay, so matches to render is the root, I guess. Option Okay, so we got through without an error that time um, Matches to render Okay Okay, so root is something that I'm not aware of. So we're going to brute force this one. Um, state matches to render. Okay, so matches to render will give me child routes. And that one will give me an option and element. 
Okay, so child routes options zero. Child routes zero. Oh, I missed it. Child routes zero options. Possibly undefined, yes. Oops. Element. Cool. Okay, let's see what we can get to now. Okay, we got matches to render. We have our home component, so we are inside of here now. Oh, so close. Route ID. Okay, this should be route match. Get injector. Get injector from here. Okay. Matches index. Use value ID. Okay, we're getting closer. So we know that in here we have do we have an ID in here? Route ID. So I want to pass whatever this thing is. I don't know. It says it's any route. Index, which I might not need some of this stuff because it's not React Router or Remix Router. Hey, look at that. So, hello from Tanstack Router. Let's try that again. Very hacky, but hey, that's what we're doing. Hello from Tanstack Router. I'm pretty sure if I click one of these things, it's not going to work. So let's go to here. Router navigate. Where am I getting router? Go definition. Inject router. Navigate options router navigation options. I think not assignable. Okay, I think I know what I'm supposed to pass here. It should be navigate to, and of course I'm losing all the uh, type safety here, but we're going to try it anyway. Uh, let's try about, because that one doesn't have any parameters or anything. 
Oh, it does have loaders and stuff. A parent and child. Okay, let's leave this one as is. App component. Cannot call search on no undefined. Okay, so I'm sure I'm just not navigating correctly there. But this um, <laughs> quote unquote works, uh, even with all the commented it and stuff out there. So that is cool. So I guess it passes the router framework agnostic core test. Um, we did have to add this create element to when we're creating a router so it knows what to do with it. Is it is beta? <laughs> thank you for uh, thank you for the reminder. Cool. So let's see if we can make this a little more predictable. Um, find options. Let's go back to here. Dev tools. Okay, matches to render child routes. This one gave me a full path, which of course, which I guess is the root of the whole tree uh, but it has child routes also which has the routes that I'm actually looking for for slash so what I want to do is find the path that matches so I'm doing a route match here, find index match ID. Let's go back. Okay, so matches, find index. Match ID is root context. ID I see my I don't have any okay I think I see where we're going uh, matches I have to get the ID of the thing. Okay, matches, yes. Get injector. I need to give this context the route ID. Oh no, okay. I 
I see. I think the route context is where I'll be headed. Inject route context. Skip optional. Where am I defining that? Okay, so I register that somewhere. Okay, so it's going to be null on the first pass, right? Null on the first pass. Matches to render. Oh, I missed it. Match ID root. Yeah, I think this is just a difference in how Tanstack router and uh, Remix router set up the IDs for matching. So I'm kind of guessing at the moment on how all of that part of it works but i know that you can at least get from a no oh, this is probably yeah it's going to find the first match on whatever it has so on the first child route uh from the matches which is going to be the the home one and not the about route that I want in this case. But yes, so progress. Router core, that part works. Uh, we can hook it into Angular's dependency injection. That part works. But I do think because we're wrapping this in a uh let's see because if i do why do i have two routers here more routers to better uh if i do navigate well it doesn't know yeah at this point it doesn't it's impl it has implicit knowledge of my route config but not explicit knowledge because of dependency injection in that case if i did this outside of the router outside of this injection token, it will probably work better or work the same with the full type safety and everything. So something else to try. But we know that it'll render an Angular component if it can find the right route. So I consider that at least a win for what I was trying to do, which is just trying to get something on the screen. And we did that, so. So you got two examples. It will work bad only for constructor-based injection. Yes. Um, yeah, and I think that's what Chow was alluding to earlier. If See, I only got a few more, but if I took this out of here and let's see, how do I want to do this? I only got a few more minutes. Uh, if we go back to main routes, let's create a router. router.ts you have to specify inject router some type uh, maybe I guess where I'm kind of going with this is that you you basically have to pass this thing around right export router so if I do that and I have the config 
then I should be able to like router navigate to see and it gives me gives me routes now uh, well did it Let's see routes route object route config slash oh well okay I think I messed up here let's go back this may have been where I went wrong so let's flatten that out a little bit create route Raise. Okay. Okay, so now our routes are a little bit more flat. So there we go. So now if, if I do this directly, I can see the routes that I've defined uh, in here. So maybe if we take this back. It's not going to be type safe in the router service, but maybe we can render more than the. Okay, let's put that back there. And router. Comment that out for now. Route config. Oof. Uh, okay, where was I? Provide routes. What do you mean? Index. Okay, let's delete this thing because it may be messing me up. Route config app routes. Okay, really quick. Fail to compile. Return types by add children. Create route config. That looks like what I had. Docs. Quick start. Create children, create route, create router. Okay, let's fast track that one. I don't have to create everything under the root, do I? Parent component. What am I missing? Route config. Okay. Let's, for the sake of trying to get something working. Okay, so Tanstack router, that still works the same. Let's uncover some routes about let's remove some of these things for now but we're still getting the same one let's 
So let's at least see what that looks like. And then we'll call this one a wrap. Router service. Oh, no, look at outlet directive. It's already there. Okay, so matches to render. I have three child routes. Of course, it's always going to take the first one. Um, get injector. That should only be one record. Get match. This is where uh this is where things are falling down right here. Match ID, this context ID. And my context ID is gonna be null in the beginning, but I need it to be one of these things. So matches, matches to render should probably be, it's not gonna be route matches. Um, matches dot matches. Outs. Out ID. Yep, that's more digging to be done there. But I think I'm getting closer. Maybe child routes can be removed. Uh, here, probably, because that's going to give me the, well, it's going to give me an array of things. It's something, it's got something to do with get match. I think that's where um, I need to go there. I think they're I think I'm on the right track though. So cool. But yeah, we're we're gonna have to call it there. Um if we can get back to here. <laughs> Seems like the lighting has changed since I finished. Uh since I started anyway. Uh but yeah. Thanks everyone for coming through. Um, I'm gonna hack on this some more, of course, and see how far we can get to getting Tanstack router core working in Angular properly so it can do some you know, nested routing and all that other good stuff. And then maybe we'll do a follow-up stream and see dig in some more Tanstack router features. Um, Cause it has cat built-in caching and a lot of other things that we didn't get to touch today. So we will check that out. Uh, for next time and we'll get to see what other fun we can get into uh, thanks everyone for coming through uh, I don't have time to raid but we will see you all in the next one